Um, we're going to look at the German states. That's something that's personally interesting for me because I live there. And I wonder what he says. It's going to be interesting. Uh, once again, every state, when the state starts, I'm going to pause. And I want you and me to say one thing that you think about the state when it comes. Because I wonder what like foreigners will say when Hessen comes. Because you don't know Hessen, right? I'm moving to Leipzig tomorrow. Help. Fuck you, I'm not helping you. Okay, let's take a look here. Final video of the day. Man, this is fun. I'm having mad fun right now. This is great. We should do this more often. As you know, we are working on this. I watched this already? That could be, right? Fuck, really? You think so? I already watched this? They're all reacting to it, man. <laughs> Everybody's reacting to him. I, th I think I already watched this. Yeah. I'm just gonna watch it again. I mean, is there nothing else? Oh, here. Um, uh, German States Explained. There has to be more YouTubers. Geography now is the biggest. Let's just rewatch it, I guess. The rest looks cringe. Let's just rewatch. Fuck it, man. Hey, everybody. So, as you know, we're working on the scripts for the next few Thank country you episodes, which means this is going to have to be a filler week. I don't heavily, remember. Heavily, That's heavily a good thing requested. with Alzheimer's. This one is going to be on every day. the states or Bundesländer of Germany. Germany is a powerhouse nation. Yeah. Obviously, it is. Look how quiet he is because he's scared talking about Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you just watched the sexy part? I don't remember. Let's just see. The largest Let's economy in Europe. And it holds a significant role of geopolitical activity that links an entire continent. As you'll soon find out, each state in Germany is pretty unique and diverse in their own way they each kind of have their own specialty and some okay. have unique dialects <laughs> before we get into this though i just want to let you know that one of my favorite sponsors is working with us once again satara for those of you that don't know satara thank you it, see you later speaking of germany it comes in over 30 different <coughs> languages including german i totally recommend you check them out i've played this game i actually don't remember great. what i watched and didn't watch. thank you satara for sponsoring geography you need to now. Bavaria. Right, and so with that bavaria is like california uh, economically wise if you take bavaria out they they have a lot of power that being said, let's just jump. I also I want to give my own opinion, right? Let's the 16 Shut up! I'm watching this right now. Fuck off if you're fucking. Shut up. King Bundesland of Germany. First one, Baden. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Fuck, I I don't know. Baden Württemberg. First thing I think of is Schwarzwald, the Black Forest. Forest. Uh, yeah. Uh, who in Salon? Cars, Mercedes. Is Mercedes there? I don't even know. Daimler is there? I didn't even know that. Porsche? That true? Stuttgart 21, Spätzle, Sausage. You can say Sausage everywhere. I actually don't know much about the state. Schwarzwald. It's like beautiful there, very beautiful. Württemberg, Borsche. capital Stuttgart. This is like the other southern state besides Bavaria. It was formed by the joining of three other former states. I These, didn't even notice. It's kind of like the luxury no car idea. state. You know, they have the, the headquarters of Mercedes Benz and Porsche. Lots of manufacturing going down here. Sick. It's very busy. He's They're also known for having the Black Forest, where yeah, all Black those Forest fairy tales man. were inspired Jesus, off so of beautiful. by the Brothers Grimm, which also plays into the unique Swabian culture that they're known for down here. Swabians have possibly the weirdest dialect in all of Germany. When you talk to a Swabian in Germany, you just, you can't take them serious. You fucking can. It's... Bro, he could be a murderer about to kill you. You will still laugh at yourself. A lot of Germans can't even understand them. And it incorporates a lot of weird, unique festivals. A lot of times they wear these costumes based I've off never of heard the fairy this shit tales before, that man. came from here. Switzerland is like their best friend. They really just kind of get each other. A lot of Swiss people come over and travel to this area of Germany. And they're known for being really smart with their money and handling it very well. Which really? also kind of means a lot of people think they're kind of stingy. That's like the stereotype. <laughs> Geography Jessica said... It's so interesting when, when you watch an episode about your country. You feel so different. It is a sacrilege to throw stuff out even if it's a broken tv or something bavaria like or by bavaria what do you think about bavaria bavaria that's like the most german thing right all the foreigners a lederhosen beer uh obviously the football club is a big thing uh weisswurst beer oktoberfest um i don't want to shit on the bavarians but when i think about Bavaria, i have the word arrogant in my brain Ooh, careful i think germans need to stay together but I don't know, Bavarians are a bit, uh, we're better than others. I was just with my dad the other day, and he, I, I asked my dad about old stories from the, um, my dad was a construction worker, like, you know, the, the basic construction stuff. And uh, he, he, I asked him, when you worked in Bavaria, dad, did you, did you uh, get along with the Bavarians? And he said, I was more friends with the Russians than the Bavarians. And he said, the Bavarians always looked down on us East Germans, even though we did better work than them. And they were always, that's what I, think sometimes about this but yeah schnoozel yeah like a bit they think they're better than the others i get that uh and they speak funny but beautiful i was literally there last month 
I was right here on vacation. Fucking beautiful, man. It's it's very, very beautiful down there. Gotta be fucking honest there. Aaron. Capital Munich. This is the largest state in size and the second largest. And I think one thing I want to say, Bavaria, I envy them sometimes because when I was in Bavaria, you see, you feel something that I don't have in my states. They're proud of their country. Meaning these Bavarians, they were very, this is our home. This is our land. We're proud of it. We're taking care of it. Something that I don't know in my states. I came. I come from these two states, like right here. No one is proud to be from Saxony, wow, Anhalt. No one is like, nice. this is our home. No. And that's what I liked about Bavarians. They're very proud about their... Like, I was on this beautiful nature area. Thank you, Wiley. And the, the, the tour guys there, they were like, we're protecting our... Uh, our natural space if you throw any fresh away you have a problem with us oh, i like that man. in terms cool. of population it's kind of like the home of all those you know perpetuated german stereotypes that became famous through american culture yeah, that's you know, those, in Durndles, those big one liter jugs of beer half timber houses you know stuff like that it's beautiful down because after world war ii this place was occupied by the americans and whatever they saw they just kind of put in media they're kind of like the most independent out of all the german states i mean they even had their own king at one point he went crazy and drowned himself they have really? more of like a Catholic what? background, and Austria is kind of like they're very Catholic, dude. We were driving around Bavaria. Every fucking street corner had uh, a fucking Jesus everywhere. Joined Jesus. twin, like they get they get along really well with Austria. Beautiful mountains here. In yeah, fact, the tallest beautiful. mountain in all of Germany, Zugspitze, is found here as well. And no shocker, they are really, really, really known for beer. There's like over four thousand breweries here. The oldest one in all of Germany is also found. Yeah, Weinstefan, they always, they always, we're the oldest, we're so old. Here. And you know, all Germans kind of have their own opinions on Bavaria. Otto von Wismar even once said, shots. the Bavarian is the link between human and Austrian. <laughs> Berlin, also. Berlin, oh yeah, it's a city state. Berlin, fuck Berlin. I said that last stream, fuck Berlin. I hate Berlin. I think Berlin is a shit show, man. It's a joke. It's, it's, yeah, it's. It's totally taken over by Arabic clans. That's a fact. You can Google that. They don't have any police anymore. There's drugs everywhere. It's party. It's drugs. It's hipsters. I'm not really for that shit. If you are like young and into party, it's a great city for you. It's like the New York of Germany. I fucking hate. I, 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 I like you know. If I ever like, hey, you want to move to Berlin? You will get. You will make one k more a month there. Fuck that. Never ever. I really sorry, Berlin people in chat. I fucking can't. I can. So the capital of Germany very is not only the also, largest city dirty. in Germany, but it's also one of the three city states Got some as German in food cities here, that are considered and, states. Um, now, when I asked a lot of you German jagger peeps to describe Berlin, a lot mm. of you, even from Berlin, kind of said something along the lines of. Ugh, even from Berlin. Uh, why do we even have this city? In 2003, <laughs> former mayor Klaus Wolverite described Berlin as poor but sexy. It's pretty much the only capital city in all. Dude, when you go to the Brandenburg Gate, it smells like piss because at night they're all pissing against the gate, man. It's fucking ridiculous. All of Europe that costs more than it earns. As in, the entire country's GDP could be higher if Berlin didn't exist. And it's like you either love it or hate it. Geography Mara says it's like the city where Germans go to find themselves. Starving artists, AKA aspiring EDM drugs, and yeah. techno musicians yeah. trying to make a point while unemployed. No, but seriously, the city does have some cool sites. Yeah, there's beautiful sites. Scene. I remember one of the greatest evenings of my life life uh before i went to china i had to go to berlin because in berlin you get your visa for china so me a chinese friend and uh, a girl i was with from vietnam we three went to berlin and i wanted to show the vietnamese girl and the chinese guy i wanted to show them berlin and we're just walking around at night in berlin just chilling out and there's a river in berlin the spree and we're just walking around and, and uh, berlin people it's <laughs> island there's like an island with a cool building and right next to the building we heard music i'm like what the fuck what's going on and we're looking down the river and there was this huge swing dance floor right on the river in summer and there was this huge dance floor under free heaven and they were just playing swing Doo -doo 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 -doo. and everybody is dancing and chilling and the chinese and the vietnamese go wow they didn't notice shit right they loved it and we had one of the greatest evenings ever it was really cool like this this 
open-minded free living there what's cool weird then. though is you can still kind of see the distinction between east and west berlin because it was split after the war and it's because kind of like they have a different, weird place um, where capitalism and communism coalesce in one location i mean i guess berlin is kind of like the rebel punk rock teenager who locks himself in his true. room because his parents just don't understand him Very brandenburg true. Capital true. Capital Pops. Pops. brandenburg um hmm. brandenburg um Lisa used to study in Potsdam. I'm a lot in Brandenburg because you drive always through it. I actually don't know anything about Brandenburg. Um, Prussia? Yeah, Prussia. EU4. Uh, Potsdam Conference. Potsdam is a beautiful city. Like Berlin is trash. And right next to Berlin, right here is Potsdam. And Potsdam looks... Potsdam looks like a city. You know, when you have infinite money in a video game and you can build the most beautiful city ever, that's Potsdam. Very beautiful there. Wow, wow. Uh, thank you, Aqua. I remember I was What's with a Chinese everyone? group in Potsdam, and they all said they want to move there. Legit, beautiful. But I know, don't know. I don't know much about Brandenburg. Stam. Jakub Aqua. Jakob says people joke that this state is the dead zone that surrounds Berlin. Oh. Berlin has more people than the entire state of Brandenburg. This is the first of the five states that make the former East Germany the before communists. the unification. It's kind of known as people, like bro. the slow to get things done state, as in their airport was always supposed to be done this year, but they. It's a big meme in Germany. There's an airport. Uh, what's it called? BAR. And the airport is never done. Never done. It's such a shame, man. We're Germans. We're engineers. We can't even fucking finish an I airport. I always say man. that like every year and it's been like 10 years. Oh, uh, let's see. Lots of former Prussian history here. Lots of cool stuff to see here, though, like the Roman baths or the Kotbus Castle, uh -huh. the Anderhavel City Museum. They actually have like these cool medieval walls from the 14th century. One of the most notable sites. That's cool in Germany or like in Europe that Americans maybe don't know. The cities are so old that if you really look closely, there's still the old walls from the medieval times. They're everywhere. It's being it's the really palace cool. of Sancho Sea. Lots of Eastern Shanshu Europeans live beautiful. here, especially Polish. I mean, they are on the border with Poland. They're kind of like the sidekick of Berlin. The thing in Brandenburg is, uh, trust me, I know a lot of these people. There is a cultural thing where once a month they drive to Poland to shop because everything's so cheap. Once a month, it's like, hey, who's going to Poland this month? Uh, you guys are going, can you get me 10 packs of cigarettes and two t-shirts? They always drive over there and get that, all the like, shit, tags man. along and wants to join his punk rock band, I guess you could say. Bremen. This is... Mm. Dude, I'm a German. I know nothing. Bremen is... Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Schiffbau. Trade. Lots of trade, trade, trade. Thank you, Summer, my dude. I couldn't see the message. Werder Bremen. Hey Tommy. Yeah, this it's has like been a long journey trade. together, only 15 months. Subscribe to you, but I would love to have found you before. <laughs> Thank love you, Summer. you and your work, brother. Glad that you are doing great three. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Jan Böhmermann this one. I hate Jan Böhmermann. What a fucking arrogant cunt. It's actually another city-state, however, it's more of like two. It's broken up into Bremen and Bremerhaven. This is the ah. smallest and least populated state Man, in look, look at that. The, the Christmas markers in Germany are fucking beautiful. The problem is, they're full of boomers. There's there's nothing but boomers. You can't even walk, Germany but they're beautiful, Germany about 660,000 people. Back in the day, it was labeled as a free Hanseatic city. Back when the Hanseatic League was a thing, that's a whole other thing we could talk about. Lots of marine culture here. Actually, people who want to become sailors come to Bremen yeah. and Bremerhaven. Beck's beer comes from here as well. I'm not gonna do that, no. There's an old joke from the army about Bex, but I can't, it's gonna get me banned, no. Thank you, Seth, I can't, I can't. Well, it's chocolate nope. beer, both of which many Germans hate. Let's see, what else do they have? They have the Bremer Stadt Music Content statue. They have yeah, the only no microgravity cares. tower in Europe where you can experience nine seconds of weightlessness, oh. eight mummified bodies in glass coffins, and what, a why? memorial block in the street dedicated to a female serial killer. Charming. But yeah, you know, Bremen is just kind of like this unique, quaint, yet yeah, always I don't know about competing Bremen. with Hamburg. You never have to state. see that. Which brings us to Hamburg. Hamburg is. Hamburg? Ah, Hamburg. Big city in Germany, big culture. Hamburgians are very proud. They have their own way to speak. How do they speak? Yo, what's in them? How do you, how do they speak? Ich mach mich wieder auf mein Boot. I don't know. They, 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 they talk like sailors, you know? They talk like the pirates, man. Hamburgers from there. Um, musicals are there a lot. My parents used to go to Hamburg a lot because all the musicals are there. Um, beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's nice, but also crazy, man. Crazy. A lot of documentaries, uh, reality TV shows are in Hamburg because there's a lot of crazy people there. Is the last a lot of, of the three city people. states. And it is pretty much the richest state in all of Germany. What? You gotta love these guys really? because people from Hamburg are called 
hamburgers. Sometimes they're called the Venice of the North Sea because they have all these neighborhoods that are separated by canals and bridges. Like Bremen and Bremerhaven, they have a harbor built on the Elba River, which gives them access to the sea, and they have a huge maritime culture, even though they are technically not on the sea. And they are getting quite a bit of attention these days because Hamburg is kind of like the IT capital of Germany right now. A lot of you have that. also mentioned that they have the most famous red light district. Yeah, Reeperbahn. Very famous in Germany, the so-called Reeperbahn. It's a long street, and that's that's the street. Drugs, prostitutes, party, mafia, everything there, man. If you ever come to Germany, go there at night and see what happens. In all see Germany. what happens. The adult-themed Reeperbahn. I did not know that. Lots of cool sites you can see here, though. Oh, and they love fish here. Yeah, kind of yeah. like the uh, techie rich guy who loves his fish. Next up, Hess or... Hessen. Ja. No clue. Look, chat knows nothing. Look, look at chat. They don't know. Mercenaries from EU4. Wow. There's nothing in Hessen, guys. There's nothing going on. Kassel? I used to go to Kassel. I used to have a girlfriend there. And I remember, I swear to God, there's a street in Kassel. Only kebab stores. Legit. Right? Kebab store, kebab store. Road, kebab store, kebab store. Uh, Arabic barber, kebab store. Swear to God, swear to God, man. And you can't sell that much kebab, man. They're, they're fucking um, laundering or money there. Hessen, capital Wiesbaden. Much that. of today's Hess state belonged to the former Hessen duchy back in the day. It was an independent state all the way up until 1871. Apparently, I don't know that and much about And they are most famous for Frankfurt. Ah, Frankfurt. Mm. That's the New York of Germany. Uh, when you drive by there, it's actually really cool seeing the skyline in the in the back. It has more skyscrapers than any other city, and it has the busiest airport in all of mm. Germany as well. And it is kind of like the business hub of Germany. Yeah. It's home to so many corporate banks the and European financial bank institutions. Oh, also home to the German stock exchange. Yeah, stock exchange. Ginter, one of the most important writers in German history is from Frank. Egal wie dich du bist, gut war dich du. Frankfurt. Well, they love apples, especially drinking it in various ways. They love apple cider. There's even a fountain that shoots apple wine at you. But yeah, Hess, <laughs> Hessen is kind of like a... It's like the financial management brother of the family lower saxony that's that's where most of things happen this state like all the tv shows and movies are there that's where everybody really lives in a way uh that's where all the 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 cities are that's where everything is happening i feel like yeah Ruppert, Leute. yeah Capital. I used Hanover. to go. That's it's where the I was second in the largest army. state in terms of area, and it's called Lower Fake Saxony sections. because of the elevation, not because of the geographic location on the map. Get keep that in mind. This state gets along very well with the Netherlands. This state kind of has like two cultures: the Plain Real Saxons sections? and the Frisians, whom are related to the Frisians. Oh, the wrong. Oh no, I'm wrong. Ah, oh god, I'm the worst German. It's actually I, I meant another state. Oh, sorry. Oh, Niedersachsen. In the I know nothing about Niedersachsen. Like the country, farmland, oh, I, man, I'm the Germany. worst. They host a lot of fairs, like the World Fair Expo in 2000. I'm the worst. However, interestingly enough, you can also hear quite a bit of Plattdeutsch spoken here as well, which is the dialect that the Amish speak in the Americas. It's also the headquarters of Volkswagen, and they also have Volksburg, which is the city with the highest GDP per capita in the entire country. It's like. I used to be in Wolfsburg a lot because one of my friends in the army was there. And well, there's nothing going on in Wolfsburg. In what the entire city of Wolfsburg revolves around VW, the the car manufacturer. So there's always shifts, right? There's two, twelve, no, I think three. There's three eight-hour shifts in the VW uh, factories. So every day after eight hours, the whole city is chaos, traffic, everything. And then after the shift is changed, nothing going on anymore. In the Nothing richest city, Mecklenburg, Vorpommern, capital Schwerin. This is actually the poorest state in Germany, ah. and it is the second former East Germany Die state. Lappen, uh. As the name implies, Vorpommern. It was part of the former area known as Pomerania, which, yes, that's where. This is the state where my people go for vacation because it has uh, the the East, the Baltic Sea. You say in English, like where I live. Whenever people meet where I live, there was always one guy who is. I was just at the Baltic Sea. The Everybody goes from. there, man. Some people joke that Lots it should be tourism. called Mecklenburg for Poland because it has a lot of Polish influence. It's right next to Poland. That's where right. everybody goes. Split this I'm actually going there next year. Called Uzedom. It is very rural and sparsely populated. It has a lot of farmers. and But beautiful. Uh, my first vacation ever was there with Lisa in a city called um, 
Stralsund. Beautiful. So fucking beautiful there. And then you get to the most northern island of Germany called Hiddensee. There's no castle out there. It's the greatest air you've ever breathed. It's so and very, very people, beautiful there, In fact, it is disputably I'm the a big oldest fan of, state of this in all area. Germany. Tons of lakes here, though. The largest lake completely within Germany is actually found here as well. They also have the largest island in all of Germany. Beautiful beaches, uh, cool places with, like, chalk cliffs. But yeah, it's Mecklenburg, very beautiful, Pohlman, but only it's boomers. Like There's so many the boomers, man. Angry grandpa that yells at the kids for <laughs> running on his lawn. <laughs> North Rhineland, <laughs> Westphalia. That's the state I meant. That's where everything happens. That's the big state in Germany. All the movies, all the people, everybody's there. All the cities, all the football teams. That's where everything's happening. Yeah. Capital Dusseldorf. This is like the big daddy of Germany. It's yeah. the most populated with about 17 million. It's the powerhouse industrial capital of Germany. Much of its economy was built off of coal mining in the beginning. And today they have more companies and factories than anywhere else in Germany. People here have a deep-rooted Catholic culture. They love celebrating Carnival. The two biggest cities, Dusseldorf and Cologne, are always like... Cologne is like the influencer capital of Germany. They're, all the YouTubers and streamers live there. They're very connected there. They're competing with each other. There's really cool Frank Gehry architecture in Dusseldorf. Oh, Cologne has the Cologne Cathedral, obviously. Yeah, that's Cologne not, is kind of like the media capital of Germany. Much of the major yeah, studios media. can be found here. That's but where yeah, everything overall, happens. The, this state is kind of like the partying dad of Germany. Rhineland Palatinate. Cap Rheinland Pfalz. Dude, I'm a German. There's nothing going on in Rheinland. What the fuck is Rheinland Pfalz? They have a green president. They have the first green president. I know that. Helmut Kohl. Blitz industry, the first focus of Hoi 4 <laughs> military base. I don't know, farmland, wine. Crazy how Tokyo has a higher population than most German states. Yeah, most states in the world, man. I don't, I don't know Capital much about Rhineland Pfalz. This is kind of like the younger brother of Rhineland Westphalia, except they love wine. Like it's often argued that mm -hmm. the best German wine can be found in this state. There's a lot of historical mm -hmm. sites and castles, especially ones that date back to the days when France was always like invading and taking over. They also have the last. France invading, taking over? I think this guy got something wrong, okay? What the fuck? Bastion of Roman presence north of the Alps in the town of Trier. It's also the uh, birthplace of Karl Marx. I'm sorry for that, boys. They are known for liverwurst. It's kind of like the loyal sidekick of Rhineland West. Let's get to the real Zaland. Ach, Zaland. First thing, incest. <laughs> Zaland is the, is the Alabama of Germany, man. No, look at everybody saying incest. No one lives there, and they all they're kind of weird. When you meet a person from there, he, she's like, "Hello, hi." It's a bit weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say shit. Zaland is weird. Capital Zabrucken. Besides the city states, it is the smallest state in area. Basically, the people here are like Frenchy Germans. The mm. area was occupied by France after World War II, and they were actually their own independent state all the way up until 1957 when they decided to go back to Germany, which explains huh? why the people here are really good at speaking French. Jacques Fiona says they are like the long lost uncle that you don't know how you're related to and speaks French. The most notable site, though, probably being the Fulkling Ironworks. It's a massive well, rusting we're steel plant real that is now. now. Alpha's heritage man. site. Today it holds a museum, science center, and an auditorium for concerts. I wouldn't be surprised if heavy metal concerts were a big thing here. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Saxony, capital. Saxony, Alter. Grüße aus dem Süden, schönen Sachsen. Das war bayerisch. Was ist los? Ja, Grüße. Dude, I can't even speak Saxon. What the fuck? I'm speaking Bavarian. Hallo, Freunde. Willkommen aus dem wunderschönen Sachsen. Da haben wir's. Jetzt kann ich reden, Freunde. Da komme ich her, da fühle ich mich wohl und da läuft der, da tanzt der Steppenbär. Dresden. This is the problem with Saxony is it's in Germany, every German will say it's the Nazi state. They they all build uh, conservative and right wing here. But that's not really true. In Saxony, the it's East Saxony. West Saxony, where I am, that's where all the fucking liberal talks live, Former Eastern man. European state. Jacobi Thorsten explains it pretty well when he says, The Saxons are one of the oldest German tribes with having a lot of political influence in the early times of the Holy Roman Empire, and with some of them even creating something of what we now know today as England. Hence why many British people say that they're... Brits, man, you and me, were the same English people. Me and Dave were like brothers. Anglo-Saxon, and why the English language is classified as... Thuringen is more Nazi, it's actually true, right? They voted 25%. Germanic language, it kind of started here. Interesting, right? This place is kind of known for having two things. Great universities and... Great universities? Uh, I guess. I don't think that's true. I don't meet anyone in life. Oh, man, I studied in Saxony, man. Look at me. And very right-wing politics. There you they go, get man. along really well with... It's very interesting when you look at a map of Germany where 
all the countries that used to be occupied by Russia are voting very right wing. And I feel like that all connects with each other. You know, the, the East Germans, you know, right wing or maybe even left wing stuff. But let's talk about right wing. It always rises in life with the human race when people are unhappy. And I always felt like that East Germans are very unhappy with what happened to them, like the fucking communist occupation and the West Germans laughing at them. The West Germans, they had money and cars and TV and East Germans. I, I mean, my parents, I know East Germans. They had nothing. And when the wall fell, they, they were just fucking bullied and shit. And I, I sometimes feel like this, this like pain is making them vote right wing because they feel so left behind in a way. Czechia slash the I Czech Republic, like... whatever you like calling it. They have a minority group called the Sorbians, a Slavic people group, kind of related to the Czechs, and it's actually a language that is protected by the German government. Nonetheless, though, I've been told that the people here are really super nice. They have like... <laughs> Like that East German hospitality. It's just, you know, they're different. It's true. One thing I got to say about East Germany. Look, they, they were occupied by fucking communists for a long time. And the thing with this, you can still, especially in my parents' generation, you still feel the echo of communism. And the thing about East Germany is that, yes, they were poor, but... Because they were so poor, they, they worked together a lot. That's what I really see with my parents and stuff. They are not really, I'm better than you. I'm, they, they all, they, they always stick together and we're all in the same shit show. And I remember, man, when I, I don't know how to explain. Like, I feel like my entire family is East German culture, like true East Germans, my dad, my mom, my grandparents. And whenever we went, came together, it was just hospitality and no one acting like they're better than others. Everybody's working from the rest of Germany, Stuff especially like Lower Saxony. Like the two Saxonies have nothing to do with each other. Saxony. That's where I'm from. That's my home, bro. Man, that's where Tommy lives, bro. I know nothing about the state. There's nothing going on. There's Magdeburg. That's where all the f fucking peasants live, the fucking monkeys. And then we have Halle, which is also just a fucking fucked up city, man. I don't know. Saxon that's where I'm from, man. Yeah. And halt. Capital says. Magdeburg. This is the fourth former East German state. It's often said that they call themselves the. Yeah, when you drive into our state, there's a big, big sign said, This is the country of people that wake up early. Like somewhere, there's a bunch of people sitting in a room. What should be the motto of our country? Um, working hard, maybe uh, our forests? What do you think? I think we are the people that wake up the earliest. Yeah, fuck off, man. What the state fuck? State that wakes up earlier. This is basically kind of like Saxony's chiller little sister. It's also the birthplace of Martin Luther. Yeah, he's big here, man. Every fucking street, Martin Luther. I, I actually live very close to Wittenberg, where Martin Luther used to chill out. It's actually a very beautiful city. At university, I had to go to Wittenberg a lot because there's a lot of university there. Beautiful the there. Protestant Reformation. The 99th thesis, not the 100th. Baroque Wasn't it the 99th thesis? Handel was... Handel. Uh, so, my, where I am born in Halle, Handel is the biggest thing. He's everything. 95 theses. Oh, sorry. When you go to the marketplace of my home city, there's a statue of Handel. And one day I researched Handel because he's the big thing of my city. He hated our city. He The, the earliest he, he, he had the chance, he fucking um, left the city and went to London. And he never came back, man. He fucking hated Halle. He didn't give a fuck. And now Halle's like, oh, we had Handel. Yeah, we had Handel. Yeah. Born here. Uh like in my city where I'm from, when you meet people, they always say, let's meet at the Handel, which is the statue in the middle. It is home to the Bauhaus movement and they love Christmas here. They have a huge Christmas ah, market and produce true. a lot of nutcrackers. When true. I was hey, and my parents and stuff, Christmas market is religion. When when the Christmas market comes, everybody can suck a dick. Tonight we're going to the Christmas market, we're all meeting up and we're getting drunk. The biggest thing. And if you take away the Christmas market, like, oh, COVID-19, that they will fucking go in the barricades, man. They love they their Christmas market, to dude. the mountain of Broken. And man, I, I, actually, I, I would always invite you, man, if you ever come to my city, Leipzig, the Christmas, the Christmas, uh, what? The Christmas, I forgot the word, market? It's beautiful. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's very full. Like in Leipzig, you cannot go to the Christmas market on a weekend. You legit cannot walk. There's too many people, man. Which on April 30th becomes... I was I was right here. I was so often in my life. That's like our little mountain. And it's like, oh, everybody goes there. The fucking blocking, man. The site of a fucking sausage up there is like five euros. The Walpurgisnacht, a night of dance. That was cool. My parents took me there as a kid. Um, we have this little little mountain range west of us, like one hour away. And there's Walpurgisnacht, which is um, in the legend, a night where the witches 
the witches were coming out and <laughs> the witches, you know. And I always went there as a kid and there was always like people running out as witches and there was candy and well, kind of cool, man. It was cool. Thank you. Extra Dancing thing. with witches based off of the story by Goethe. Schleswig-Holstein. What's up there? I don't know, man. That's a chill state. That's where... Dude, most of these states is just... Yeah, nothing. There's nothing there. They're, they're very close to Denmark. They always fucking chill with each other. I, I never ever keep in there. I named think. after the two duchies that worked together for centuries. It is the only bi-coastal state in Germany with coasts along the North Sea mm. and the Baltic. And it's basically like the Denmark of flag. Germany. The There's Denmark. a lot of Danish true. people here, Danish-speaking people here, and it's actually a protected, true, true. recognized language. Flensburg, uh, you can poke greet the, people uh, here by saying there. moin moin. And the it's very famous. Flensburg is a famous city in Germany, which is there because if you fuck up in traffic, and for example, you, you cross a red light, you get one point. Th that's what Germans say. You just got one point in Flensburg, meaning there's a city in the north called Flensburg and you get one point. And if you have like seven points, you lose your driver's license and shit. And everybody says, how many points you got? Oh, I got three. Cool thing is on the North Sea coastline on the west side, they have the largest cohesive tidal flats in the world. A natural world heritage yeah, it's a big site. Touristic twice a day, thing. the tide risk. The water goes away and then people walk there. People die there because they don't See, fucking it's realize the water's coming back. Mud flat. Of course, no surprise, fishing and sailing are huge out here. They actually have a huge sailing competition I mean, every I year. Have yeah, the people here are kind of oh, known I for being one. like tall, know. animal herding people that are really quiet. Like they don't ran over talk much. No, I don't have and a point. Finally, I ran over a red light, but I was one second good. One second more, I would have lost my license. Thuringen, I'm a lot there. I'm I'm there a lot, yeah. Uh, I think they voted 25% AFD. Is that true? I think they voted AFD. They're also very white wing. Oh, not much going on there. Beautiful landscape. Nice sausage. But yeah, very, very wide wing. Very, very wide wing. Thuringia or Thuringen, capital Erfurt, the last and final state of former East Germany. This place is probably most famous for the city of Weimar. I used to chill there, man. Dude, I actually think I was here. I think I actually was in the street, man. Weimar is great, man. Weimar is great. As Geography Thorsten says, it is the home of Johann Wolfgang Goethe and Friedrich von Schiller. Their works in the so-called Sturm und Drang Thüring era was so influential that it was manifested in the saying about yeah. Germany. Germany is the country of poets and thinkers. Used to be, man. There's no more poets and thinkers in this country. No, no, no. There's a bunch of auto-tune rap. Hello! They, they were kind of no like the Shakespeare's of Germany man. back in the day. Much of their writing actually influenced a lot of words and phrases for modern German that is spoken today. The composer Bach was born here, you can see. Bach is a huge thing in my city, because he used to be... Oh, how do you explain that? Thank you, extra thick. You know, every church has a... Has like a boss who makes the music, and that's like a big thing. And this guy used to be the boss of the church where I live, like literally five minutes away. And uh, I literally live five minutes away from his grave. Yeah. See his house. And interesting, they have a lot of caves here as well, like okay. these. And uh, they're known for having really good food here as well. They have like these potato dumpling like things. Sure. Yeah, and yeah, all be, Germans yeah. love Thuringian style bratwurst. Thuringian bratwurst. That I, everybody, dude, everybody eats the shit. When I go to the city, there's this little guy who has a little, a little fucking car and he sells them all day. And they're all eating it. Everybody eats this. Every day, all day. I think I just ate one three days ago. I think, yeah, three days ago I ate one. I fucking remember. It's, uh, it's, it's, they're famous for it. So there you go. Those are the 16 there states you go. of Germany. There However, you go. However, a lot oh. of you guys also mentioned two other things. Ah, I know what's coming now. There is the famous 17th state of Germany. And maybe he's going to talk about it's it. The Spanish... That's the 17th state of Germany. That island is Germans and only Germans. I don't know why. I, I was there. I was at Kalaradjada. I was right here as a kid. Uh, where's uh, Balaton? No, no. What do I mean? Uh, Balaman Zex. So there's only... So what happens is... How to explain this to foreigners? How to explain that? If you want to get really, really drunk and you have no brain at all, you fly there. You fucking go there, you drink, and you just party hard, man. I always say, Malus, I always say, if you will, every German that goes to Mallorca, if you don't let them back, the average IQ of Germany will rise by 10. I swear to God, man. But this island is completely German. Alaric Island, Mallorca. Completely. A lot of Germans jokingly call this the 17th yeah. Bundesländer. This is a hot spot for Germans and... But hey, these are not educated Germans. Trust me, if you go there, they're fucking... They're like English people. 
<laughs> they flock to this place all year round. Tons of Germans already live here. A lot of the street signs and shop signs yeah. and billboards are written in German. People have lived on this island, never learning a word of Spanish, and they've been yeah. fine. Uh, yeah, the Germans <laughs> love this island. Uh, back in Cold War times, Cuba kind of like said, oh, we're going to give you this island. Cayos Blanco. What? Ernst Tillmann. I literally live next to the Ernst Tillmann Platz. Uh, what? Del Sur named Ernst Talmond Island. But then like Cuba was like, oh, it was just like a symbolic thing. We didn't actually give it to you. And then East Germany Germans was like, eh, Cuba. Yeah, fine, whatever. Keep that island. So that is it. So yeah, I mean, in conclusion, for Germany, you gotta hand it to them. They've gone through so much in the past century, and it's almost miraculous how much they've moved forward. Whether you're Bavarian or Mecklenburg, Vopalmen. Hope you like this video. Thank you. Danke He's right about that. To all my Germans in chat, I always felt that our country went through so much shit man i don't know we should all come come the fuck together and stop fucking each other man if you fucking sex or bavarian stop fucking with each other man let's get the fuck together and f and, and invade people <laughs> you know man there, there's enough fucking bullshit that happened man we gotta fucking chill our fucking dicks man man that was a weird stream we just watched videos and it was great the chat was active wow, wow, big wow, view wow, counts that was fun as fuck Salam.